I'm Craig Hall, and here I'm dancing the role of a fawn with Sterling Hilton and Jerome Robbins' Afternoon of a Fawn. We're both young students here, and we're looking through the imaginary reflection, which is the audience. And we're both intrigued and infatuated by our own image. This ballet is an awakening. It's a discovery of movement and a discovery of each other. This is a very private, intimate moment between two students and the audience is almost looking in on something they shouldn't be seeing. The trickiest thing about this ballet is to imagine there's an actual mirror there. We do most of the dancing, looking at each other through the reflection. We practice quite a bit spotting something out in the theater, which is usually one of the jewels that is near the first ring. So the eyes are actually looking at the same point. As a ballet master, when I'm coaching it with new dancers, I think it's difficult for them to completely let go. They see the dancers trying a little too hard to look like they're looking in the mirror. When I first learned this ballet, I was a young dancer and I just didn't get it. I thought I needed to create something out of the simplicity and it is the simplicity of the ballet that makes it so pure and so special. The entire thing is about being as natural as possible. There are very few moments that I've had on stage where I was so zoned in to every single aspect of the performance. The way the ballerina felt the first time I touched her, the way her cheek felt on my lips, how I felt the breeze in the air. I felt a heightened sense of awareness. And the curtain came down and I remember thinking, Oh wow, this was such a magical experience. It's nice to see the beginning process of these dancers learning this, and I am very excited to see what the end product will be once they get out on stage. And that's what makes this ballet still very interesting. The steps don't change, but the personalities do, and to witness that is a lot of fun.